Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Today we have another drawing request and I was asked if we could draw a pug, which I thought was a great idea because pugs are so cute and they're super wrinkly and they have really funny faces. So you're gonna want to probably start with pencil first on this one and gather your drawing supplies and let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So the pug is really cute. He has a big head and a lot of wrinkles. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna actually start by drawing the little line for the chin. You wanna make sure you leave enough space for their head above. I'm gonna start a little bit above halfway down and I'm gonna draw a little line like this, straight up and down. And then a line that kind of angles down a little bit and then kind of angles back up like that. So it's kind of like, it's not pointy, but it is kind of like a little arrow shape that's round on the bottom. And then at the end of this line, we're going to have a quick angle back like that. Okay, so it's like another arrow, but rounded. Now, just above this, we're going to draw a big circle for our pug's giant eye. So go ahead, draw a big circle, and then move a little ways over and draw another one. And this one that you draw, it should not be further over than this, okay? Because then his eye is not on his head, or it should be. After you draw the two eyes, we're going to draw a little upside down triangle for the nose and fill that in. Straight line up and down. And then you can draw kind of like a frowny mouth almost, like that. And I like to give a little triangle too because I just think it looks cute. And in this space, kind of, we're going to make a curved line. That's where the dark brown is going to be. So you can make a curved line. If it goes up and touches the eyes, I think that looks good. It kind of gives it that smushed face. So it's like a curved line, and then it curves that way. And there you go. Then let's just finish up the eyes just because they're so cute. You're going to draw a curved line that goes this way. And then on the other eye, the curved line should go the other way. So notice how in this one it kind of curves that direction and this one goes that way. That's because a lot of times pugs, their eyes look in different directions. So we're also going to add a little oval on each eye for that shine. But when you fill it in with black, you're going to notice that the black parts of the eyes are going different ways. And again, that is how you want it to look because it is a pug and they have those funny giant eyes that look totally different directions. All right, now we're gonna draw a little diagonal line right here on each side. That's where you're gonna color it in pink later. It's kind of like the little corner of the eye. All right, and then one more thing, we'll add these little lines for the designs. So diagonal line up, curve line down. Diagonal line up, curve line down. Okay, normally I don't have us add all the details before we get the basic shapes down, but I just think it's fun to get the face drawn out on the pug because it's just so cute. All right, Next step, you guys, is we're gonna draw a little line for the back of the head. So let's go here, this little line we started with, move a little ways over, and draw yourself a line that's a little taller, and it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Now we are going to draw the ears. So notice how this one side, this side is a little bit more straight, and that one's a little bit more curved. I'm gonna draw this straight line, so starting here, and moving a little bit over, I'm gonna go up, 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 and I will start here. However tall you make the ears, that's how tall the head's gonna be about. So a straight line that goes down, and as it gets close to this, we're gonna let that line curve into like a smiley mouth. And also it kind of looks like a letter J. On the other side, this line's gonna go out and curve a little more. And when you get to the point where both of these lines are kind of the same height as each other, this one on the outside is going to go straight across and go down like that. Now let's draw the top of the head. 
as you're going across, make a few little bumps and lumps because again, a pug is super wrinkly. Right above this other eye, we're gonna stop and draw the other ear. So we're gonna make a nice angle line that goes right across the top of that eye and it can stop there. Little curved line like a smile and then straight up and down. I'm gonna have this kind of angle up and then a little line connecting it back down. For the other ear, you can either just connect this all the way, or I like to draw a little line down like this, like a check mark actually. Now let's add some more wrinkles on his face. Above these two shapes, we're gonna add little pointy lines like that, and then right here, a little line that goes down so there's some wrinkles in his forehead. Now we're gonna draw the rest of the body. The rest of the body does not have as much details. For the back, we're gonna start, we're gonna leave this little line just how it is. It gets a little wrinkle, so go a little ways above where that line ends. And we're gonna make a line that kinda angles out and then swoops underneath like that. That's his back and like a little bit of his back leg here. We're gonna continue that back leg a little longer and then make a curved line like that. Then we're gonna draw the hips, okay? So starting just above this line that we did, we're gonna go up and over and then back and touch. In this empty area here, kind of where the hip and the foot connect, I'm gonna make a line that goes straight across and stop once I get a little further than the foot. I'm gonna draw a curved line for that front leg and a little front foot curved line again, so sort of like this back foot. And then another line that's curved, it's mostly straight up and down, but it curves a little bit and it's a little longer than this one. Now I'm gonna continue this straight line a little further and then stop. And I'm gonna draw another front foot almost exactly the same as this one. So slightly curved line and then a line that's curved kind of like a backwards letter C. And then another taller curved line like that. Now instead of continuing out straight, I'm going to actually continue right here but make a curved line that curves up and goes up a little ways and then stops with a little bit of space left. We're gonna make one bumpy line for a little neck wrinkle and then a straight line that connects back to the head. We just gotta do this back foot and the tail and then we're done, you guys. Really good job so far, really super cute. We're gonna make a curved line. So a curved line that stops right about there and then Kind of coming out from the middle of this front foot, we're gonna make a straight line and then another little curve like that, okay? If your feet aren't exactly spaced the same way as mine, it really doesn't matter. As long as you just got four legs and feet in there, you are good. So, um, sorry about that. Okay, so for the tail, you're going to draw a little line that goes like this and then it goes up and over, and we're gonna add a little swirl inside, okay? So there you have it, you guys. We are done drawing our pug, and then of course you can color it in. Normally pugs have dark brown around their face, their ears, and their feet, but you could change it to be any colors you want. So have fun coloring it in, you guys, and great job drawing your pugs today. You know what, guys? After I took my phone down, I realized that I forgot one thing. You do have to add two little curved lines for those neck wrinkles. How could I forget? Sorry about that. Now you guys are all done. All right, guys, I hope you had fun drawing your pugs with me today. I think that they turned out really, really cute. And I would love to see your drawings. If you guys finish them up, send them my way. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. And our video tomorrow is going to be a nice drawing that you could give as a gift for Mother's Day. So make sure that you watch our video tomorrow so you can make a really cool drawing. And I will see you guys then. Bye.